Good morning. On today's show, we are going to get up close and personal and talk about something that I didn't really want to talk about today. But we need to ask ourselves a question. Where are we looking for acceptance? And do we worry more about what other people think about us than God? Let's get started. for being here today. I am excited about what we're going to talk about and um, a little trepidatious. So we're just going to let the Holy Spirit lead as this is something that I have been working on myself. But before we get started, let's open with prayer. Father God, I thank you for today. I thank you for this opportunity that we can meet together as a community and discuss you and how we can be more and more and more like you. And I just pray that you will open our hearts and our ears for what it is that you have to say to us today, that I will speak your truth with love and that we can walk away, Lord, just trusting and believing more in you and how much you love us. And we ask these things in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Here is a quick video to kind of describe what I'm talking about, and then we'll get started. to say that I love social media when it's used for good and I have a lot of experience with social media and posting on many different platforms and over the last couple of years as I've been learning and growing um, the ministry and in realizing what does that look like I've also discovered that it's a very slippery slope and What's different for those of us that were born in the 70s, 60s, 50s, whatever, is that there, there wasn't social media. You know, you didn't post your pictures about what you were thinking or what you were doing with your family or selfies or any of that uh, growing up. I mean, if you wanted someone to know what you did on the weekend, you called them up on the rotary phone with a really long cord. And I remember laying on the floor in the living room, you know, because the cord went that long and talking to my friend and letting them know what we did. I mean, there was no instantaneous posting, even while you're in the moment and putting it out there for everybody to see. And while I said that I didn't really want to talk about this today, it's true. I had some other things that I was preparing for uh, the chair. And then when this came up, it was like the Lord said, no, I, I want you to talk about this. And I prayed about what I was going to talk about. And I was pretty confident of what we were going to you know, look at this week. And yet um, he said, no, I, I want you to discuss this. And I'm like, oh, Lord, please not that because I'm struggling with that myself and I might have to be vulnerable. And so um, obviously, yeah, that's what he wants us to talk about. 
I myself over these last couple of years, as I've been doing new things and putting myself out there, it's amazing that those likes and those little hearts and those little messages are confirmation. They're affirmation that, wow, they like what I'm doing and um, boy, that was a good word today and thank you and wow, people like me. <laughs> and it is such a cycle because then when you put something out there and you don't get a lot of likes or you don't get people uh, complimenting on what you're saying, there's a lack that you feel in your heart and you start questioning, well, Lord, I thought that's what you told me to put out there today and not very many people liked it. And so um, maybe I need to create something that people will really like. And so then I'll feel good about myself and then I'll know that what you have called me to do is true. See, that's where the enemy gets us. Um, when we start putting things out there, whether we're putting it on social media or we're putting a message out for people to hear, if all of a sudden you're not getting people agreeing with you or liking what you're saying, you start to question your identity, you start to question your purpose, and that's where the slippery slope happens. I have spent a lot of time journaling and, and spending time with God uh, over these last couple of months, making sure that my heart was true and that my words that I speak are not for my glory or benefit or likes, but that they are actually what God wants me to say, whether or not people are going to like it or not. That is all about speaking truth with love, right? You put it out there in a loving context, but it's, it's the truth and some people aren't ready to hear it. Some people want to hear it, but don't want to respond. Some people uh, want to just let it soak in and, and, and work on their heart and aren't, and aren't going to reply. And, and so that's what I've been learning. And the devil can sit right here on my shoulder and say, but Amy, uh, nobody liked your post today. And I have been working through and learning to say, okay, Lord, do you want me to put it out there for my glory or for yours? And maybe in those moments um, that I'm stepping out in obedience and putting things out there that the Lord put on my heart, I'll, I'll never know the response um, because I can't measure spiritual impact. I can't measure what God was actually doing in that moment because God is bigger than me and my ways and my thoughts. So I, I want to the very first thing, you know, ask you, what are you putting out there and are you doing it because you want people to like you and affirm you? Are, you? are you doing it because God has put that on your heart? And then if that's the case, it doesn't matter how many likes you get. You were being obedient. And, and thirdly, how are you measuring your um, aff affirmation? How are you measuring your worth? I pray that it's more than just how many likes you get on social media and how many people love your story and how many people follow you on Instagram because we need to be able to walk in the world but not be in the world. And, and it's, it's a struggle. It's a daily challenge for me to, to get up and here's where I'm being real. It's a daily challenge for me to get up and put things out there and and not worry about whether or not people like it or love it or comment, but that I'm stepping out and being obedient to God. Here's the other thing. 
we are getting to some really challenging times, right? And you can see that on social media as people are putting out how they feel, whether that's about religion or politics or government. And you're seeing everybody get angry because that's not truly how they feel. And I've actually watched some people on social media put it out there, you know, put out how they feel. And then when people jump on and say all these things, then I've seen them come back and say, but people, and they kind of want to backpedal and they kind of want to retract what they're saying. This is the thing. When you put out to everybody what you're feeling, be prepared that not everybody's going to like your opinion. Not everybody's going to want to agree with you. And that's where we have to be confident in who we are and um, what we believe in so that we can make space for other people to, to say things, to comment, to share their beliefs, and that that will not sway who we are and what we believe in. And, and there's been a lot of that out there. There's been a lot of people that have been angry and have wanted to yell at the top of their voices their beliefs and their opinions. And we all have to create space to be able to listen to other people's viewpoints and then weigh and measure what we believe against that. And if we don't believe what they're saying, you know, we cannot fight back and get angry and push our side. Uh, we have to be consistent with who we are, who is inside of us, and show, show the people around us love and kindness and respect. And we do that not just in our words, but with our actions and who God has called us to be. The other thing that I've noticed, and, and I think this is something that we have to be careful of, as, as we are putting out what we believe and as we are seeing other people respond and, and share their thoughts, you know, we can't let their opinions of us or their decisions make us fall away from our beliefs, for example. And this, about, this is about as political as I'm going to get in this comment. But I had heard a story about somebody who said that they were not going to get vaccinated and that that was what they believed in and, and they didn't want to do that for all of their reasons and all of their beliefs. This person that they told, that person said, well, I don't think I can hang around with you anymore because you're not going to get vaccinated. And that was the end of the story. And so that person then, right, that received that information and, and now there's a consequence to what they believe in, what are they going to stand on? Are they going to stand on their belief and, and not get vaccinated? Or are they going to change their beliefs because now there's some pushback? Now there is somebody else that doesn't agree with them and, and there's a consequence in that. Man, this is, this is going to get challenging. And I really believe this is just the beginning about what we are standing on, what we are believing in, who we are in Christ, and whether or not our beliefs are going to change what other people think and how they think about us and whether we're going to stay true to those beliefs. I actually got sent a video this morning from Pakistan and it was a really hard video to watch and it was a video that was taken of a Christian woman who was getting beat up by some other people that she worked with, some Muslim believers. And they were saying that she had been blaspheming, that, um, that whatever she was saying was against what they believed. And I literally watched this woman get hit in the face and yelled at by this whole group of people. And there were people taking video of it. And it was so sad to watch. But I was glad that she sent it to me, right? Because this is the world that we live in. 
we are coming to a point where we need to stand up and be confident of what we believe in and not be afraid to change our minds or our decisions or what we put out there on Facebook or social media or you know out to the world when we have that pushback right when when people say no you should not believe that way and and no you you shouldn't do this and no you shouldn't do that are we going to stand firm to the end are we going to keep proclaiming from the rooftops what we believe and it comes back to that question where are we looking for acceptance and do we worry more about what other people think about us than what God thinks about us? And that's the question that I've had to camp on and journal and spend time in prayer and say, Lord, I want what you think of me to be more important than anybody else's thoughts or ideas about who I am and, and what I say. I want your opinion of me to matter the very most. And that means that I am willing and obedient to put out for the world what I believe in, which I pray and I have to continue to make sure that that aligns with God's word and his truth. But that that opinion of him, what he thinks of me matters more than how many likes I get, how many people that unfollow me because they don't want to see another spiritual religious quote bible verse you know video about god and how much god loves us i have to be willing to keep doing that and and so do we all you know we're getting to this really important time in our history where we have to be able to stand up all of us and and say what we believe without fear, but do that in a way where we are speaking truth with love and do that in a way where we will not be afraid of what other people think of us. We have to be confident of who we are in Christ, that he loves us, that he has a plan and purpose for our life and that his opinion of us needs to matter the very most. When we look to acceptance from the world and, and what the world thinks about us and, and what the world is going to say, well, that is going to make our foundation very slippery. And each day we might feel good or bad depending on what people say about us, how many likes we get, how many comments, how many people that are agree with us and agree with our, our beliefs. Or maybe if they start falling away and, and don't because they believe other things, where is that going to keep us? Hopefully firmly planted in our beliefs and firmly planted that we're going to continue to step out in faith and obedience no matter how hard it's going to get. I'm going to take with me this woman sitting in that chair in the corner being beaten for her beliefs and I'm going to pray and, and step out each day praying that I will be able to continue to speak truth with love no matter the consequences, no matter how many people like it, no matter how many people uh, either agree or disagree with me. This is a heavy topic, I know, and I think this is why God changed up my plans and um, my plans. Did you hear that? What I was thinking he wanted me to talk about and talk about something that is up close and personal and real for every single one of us and encourage you, encourage you to make sure, to make sure that you're confident in your truth, that it is aligned with God's word and that you will be obedient to who God is calling you to be, right? We've been talking about that. Who is God calling you to be? And can it, it be seen behind 
all of those suitcases, right? Last week we talked about laying all those suitcases down so that we could be seen by people, right? That we could be portraying who God is to the world, be not behind this whole bunch of suitcases filled with the past and filled with all of the mistakes that we've made and all the lies that we believe. We need to be able to stand up and stand out and be visible for everybody to see God in us and through us, in our actions, in our words, in our beliefs. Because we're getting to this critical moment in time where that's going to matter. It's going to matter what we believe in and who we believe and keep trusting who loves us. And yeah, we need to stay firm and and believe in God and what his truth says. So heavy stuff I know, but I just pray that it will be something for, for God. There was something in there, some seed that will be planted, something that God spoke directly to your heart that, that he'll be able to work on and grow. And as we move into these days and months to come, thank you uh, for being here today. Let me close this in prayer and, um, Let's just take our worries, our concerns, our thoughts, our, our grief to the Lord and, and let him heal us in, in all ways. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for this time. I thank you for this truth. And I, I just thank you that we could be real with each other today, Lord, and that you will speak to our hearts exactly what it is that you wanted to say to us, Lord, and, and what we need to hear the most uh, today. There are so many people right now grieving, Lord. There are so many people that are hurting and that are confused and that are anxious and depressed and don't like uh, the way the world is going, don't like the way that the things are moving. And I just pray, Lord, that you will walk alongside all of us that, that you will hide us in the covering of your wings, that you will keep us safe, and that you will give us the confidence that we need, Lord, to just step out each day with the affirmation that you love us, that you have a plan and a purpose for our life, and that you want to shine your light through us, Lord, so that others will know who we are, that others will know what we believe, and that we will stand firm to the very end. Thank you for being with us, Lord, today. Thank you for making a way. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. And uh, we just ask that you will continue to walk through, uh, walk with us through the rest of this week. We love you and we praise you. And we ask all of these things in the mighty name of Jesus who saves. Amen. Thank you so much for being here today and for joining us on until next time, until we can be together again. Be blessed.